Well, I said I wanted a picnic, but I didn't know it was going to be today. I picked a spot just under the mimosa trees over here. Well, let's follow the bees. <laughs> today, Glenn treated me to the perfect Provencal picnic. Well, it's a beautiful day. The flowers are in bloom, and I've been listening to your hints. <laughs> I do love a picnic, and there's no place more perfect than Lacoste. I definitely agree. And now we're going to show you how it all came together. This really is the perfect place for a picnic, sitting in the gaze of a medieval village of Lacoste and on the grounds of our farm here in Provence, Maison Basse. So you built this whole garden. Uh, tell me some of the things that you considered when you built the garden. Well, the garden came about because there was a large tree here, if you remember, that was taken out by Miss Draw. So we had a bare spot. So we thought it would be the perfect place for a drawing garden where students can come and draw the foliage. The beauty of all of Lacoste, and especially Maison Bass, is it exemplifies best practices in historic preservation. Most importantly, it's the perfect spot for a lovely picnic. <laughs> well, we certainly have a lovely spread here, and I love that even though some of our alumni can't be with us today, we have some of their work, like this lovely handbag by Lillian Farak. You can get her work at ShopScad. We put a liner in it, used it as an ice bucket for our Orangina. And these beautiful laser cut balls from our alum, Cheriton Alexakis, with our own cherries from our orchard. Mmm, they're my favorite. And here we have two wonderful quilts, one from Mara Ambrose and one from Eliza Geschel. And Eliza actually made hers here in Lacoste. You know, when we found Maison Bass and it was given to us, it was really a ruin. Do you remember? I do. I remember climbing up the ladder to the second floor. <laughs> there, there were no stairs. Originally, this was the stables for the Marquis de Sade Chateau. So guests would come in from the main road, dust themselves off, get announced, and then they would have to get into a smaller carriage to go into the winding, tiny streets of Lacoste to get up to the chateau to actually visit with the Marquis. How comfy are these cushions? By Rachel Knight, one of our alums. A few years ago, we had a competition that Hermes sponsored, and Hermes selected her design to be made into a limited run of scarves. And she got to go to the factory in Lyon, and they made it into three different colorways for her. I couldn't resist adding these charred paper flowers by SCAD alumna and professor Aaron Heisler. <laughs> you never have too many flowers. Glenn, you know me too well. I love being surrounded by our alumni work. Maison Bass is très charmant today, but it was a pigsty on the bottom and a chicken coop on the top. Literally. It was. <laughs> well, of course, there was the tree that was growing in the studio. Oh. And I love the characteristic of all the doors where the livestock would go in and rub the stone over the many centuries. And so we had to deal with the curves that were already there from the test of time. As we were doing the excavation of the property, we also found some archeological ruins that date back to Roman times or even before we're still investigating. Inside the farmhouse, the Maison Bass itself, we found a beehive oven. People from all around this area would come and use the lavoir and also bake their bread in the beehive oven. I think we found a cannonball in one of the walls. We did. Apparently, there was some acrimony between Bagneux and Lacoste at one time. But today, we're all friends. Our picnic napkins come from Anya Moliviatis, perfect for a baguette. This is One Handsome Knife by Emilio, a company owned by two alums who met at SCAD Industrial Design Magic. Careful with that. Can you pass that over here? <laughs> I'm going to slice it on this cutting board by SCAD alum Tyler King. He's a master carpenter, and look at the beautiful detail. I know. Dovetail work Gorgeous. On it. Today, Maison Bass is a residence hall for students 
In the barn, we've installed a theater so that we can screen films here. We also screen films on the exterior. In the upstairs of the former barn, there's a fantastic computer lab. So there's everything students might need. We have a dining hall, a commercial kitchen, residence hall, a swimming pool, even swans. Picnics come in all forms and fashions. All you have to do is pick a lovely location. And bring some of your favorite things. And spend it with one you love. Bon, bon appétit. appétit.